Hi, I'm Bill Walt. Welcome to Sports School. As we've said time and again here at Sports School, basketball is a game of skill, timing, and position, not of size and strength. Please don't ever base your game on the fact that you're bigger and stronger than someone right now at your development. Because if your game is based on size and strength, what are you going to do when Shaq and Yao Ming walk through that door? You're going to have no chance. Have it be based on skill. And we're going to show you right now a technique that will allow you to get from one spot on the court to the other side of your defender, your opponent, who's desperately trying to keep in that situation. So what you're realizing now is you have to move around him. You can't go through him. You're going to first set him up with the jab step to the baseline. Your initial move then will be to come back with this inside arm, lift him up out of the way, and now you're flashing to the ball. Now this technique, like so many of the techniques, can be utilized in different aspects getting to the offensive rebound position that you desire, getting to the position where you're trying to establish maybe an offensive attacking mode. Ultimately, though, this guy will be good. You have to assume that the quality of your opponent is at a very high level. So what you will ultimately have to do is when you make that jab step, he's not going to allow you to come back. He's going to be holding there. He's going to have this arm out here to keep you from doing that. So what you want to utilize in that situation, as you make that jab step, come a little bit farther with one more step, position yourself here, and then you're allowing yourself to roll back here, keeping the arms, elbows up, and now you're in that position for either the offensive rebound or the reception of the ball on the offensive end, because that's what you live for here at Sports School. You want that ball in your hands. A critical element in rebounding on the offensive end is anticipate that the shot will be missed. So while I'm here in my position and my opponent will be over boxing me out and having a good defensive stance of his own right, I have to know that my teammate's going to be shooting that ball. I have to be thinking along the same lines he is. That's why I'm always watching the ball, always watching the eyes of my teammates so that I can anticipate what's going to happen next. But when that shot is going to be taken, you want to start moving initially. Don't be in a situation where you're just trying to push and shove your way to the basket. No, this has to be a game of movement, a game of finesse. Basketball is really a ballet. It's a dance. It's an opportunity for you to express your mental acuity and your emotions out there. So when the play is happening and you're not shooting, you want to move on a constant basis to get in that situation where the ball is going to bounce off of. And remember that when the shot is taken from this side, most likely the ball is going to be bouncing off on this far side. That is just a simple law of physics. Now, oftentimes late in the game, some guys will be out there stroking a shot. You know they're tired, you know they're fatigued. So then you can anticipate that, hey, that's going to hit the front of the rim and might bounce back on this side. But all of your movement, all of your positioning has got to be keyed on being there first. Being that guy that is on the move, on the attack, and don't be the type of player that is just sitting there waiting for the ball to fall in your lap. Go chase that ball down and put yourself in the position where it can come to you. Here at Sports School, we're firm believers that sport emulates life. Just think for a moment, if you will, that life is like your jump shot. When that ball leaves your hands, there's nothing you can do about it anymore. Don't sit there and ogle and say, oh, wasn't that cool? Don't bemoan the fact that it was a brick. Chase it down. Basketball is about transition. That's the same way as life. So as our shooters are putting the ball up, they can't sit there and just think, OK, my job is over. No. Always be the type of player that is chasing that ball down. So when the shots are going up each and every time, they want to land in their perfect balance and then move on to the next play. Who can get there quick? Who can anticipate where that ball is going? Basketball is about quickness. Basketball is about anticipation. Basketball is about balance, but it's also about chasing that ball down. Don't be the type of person, don't be the type of player who sits there and waits for that ball to just fall in their lap. Chase it down. You determine your own fate. 
Let's make it happen here at Sports School.